y'all, hey, I am right in the middle of the glorious time of year when I am summer shirt making for my folks who are into that aloha vibe, and I wanted to step you through the flat felled seam. This is a beautiful and easy seam finish for a shirt. All you need is a straight stitch and a little bit of patience. This is the finish you see on all of your ready to wear button down shirts, and it's a great seam to have in your toolkit. Let's get into it. I'm going to demo this seam on the shoulders of this shirt. I've got my back shirt piece here with the right side of the fabric facing up. Let's match the front pieces at the shoulders. The right sides of the fabric are facing. We're going to pin along those seams. We're going to sew directionally from the neckline to the shoulder point. You remember sewing directionally. You remember it especially if you sewed the Vogue open robe along with me. And you shoulda. Let's stitch it up. I've got my top stitching thread color in my needle and plain white thread in my bobbin just to save time on later steps. First pass of the shoulder seams, donezo. Here's the front, here's the back. You wanna look at which part of your seam allowance is going to lie towards the back. Which part is gonna be covered up? On this shirt, the shoulder seam allowance is going to lie towards the back of the shirt. That means I have to trim away the back shoulder seam allowance and leave the front seam allowance at the full 5 eighths. I am fond of saying that I have a level in my head and I can eyeball measurements exactly and trim away to exactly what I need to do. But you know, even goddesses have their, you know, little slip ups. So what I like to do here, because this needs to be precise, is use a ruler and a Frixian pen and mark exactly what it is I need to trim away. I'm going to mark a line a quarter inch away from the stitching line. Yeah, yeah, I'll mark that badly. That's why I love a Frixian pen. Let's just reverse time with a little steam heat and just redraw that line. Yeah, yeah, Frixian pens are time machines just like your seam ripper. There we go, the magic of Frixian pens. Let's just mark that line again. That's better. Cut right along that line. You're removing 3 eighths of an inch from the back seam allowance. Now we can go ahead and fold our front seam allowance right over that raw edge until it meets that line of stitching. You want the raw edge of the front seam allowance to be right on that line of stitching. It needs to touch the line of stitching there. Go ahead and hit this fold with some steam, press it in place. You can see the difference in the seams here. This shoulder seam allowance is trimmed, folded, and ready for top stitching. And here is your full 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance on the other side. Now you could jump a step here and skip to top stitching, but not us. No, no my friends, not us. We are patient and precise people. We're going to stitch again all the way along this fold with a long basting stitch just to keep that fold in place. So when we're ready to top stitch, it's not going to move around on us. It's going to stay precise. We like precise. That raw edge is now completely encased in the folded seam allowance and because we basted it, it's not going anywhere. We're going to lay our shirt out flat and press the seam towards the back of the shirt. There's no danger of us 
pressing out the fold that we just created because we basted, because we're patient and precise people. Let's flip it and reverse it. Press the seam again from the right side of the shirt towards the back. We do this just to make sure that we're not creating an unwanted fold on the front of our shirt. And again, because we're patient and precise. This is nice and flat now. Now we can go ahead and top stitch right along this seam at a scant quarter inch. I'm stitching with the right side of the fabric facing up and I've got the folded seam allowance of the fabric to the left of the needle. Use your presser foot as a guide and top stitch through all layers at a scant quarter inch away from the seam line. Back stitch at the beginning and end of the seam and be sure to keep all your layers flat underneath your presser foot. And there is your flat felled seam. The front is flat and top stitched very evenly. And on our insides, the raw edge is completely encased in that fold of fabric. Now we can go ahead and remove all of these basting stitches because we don't need them anymore. You're not gonna be lazy and leave those basting stitches in. No, gonna remove those unsightly basting stitches. Maybe this is a seam that you would be tempted to leave raw and zigzag over and just like maybe iron down a bit. But isn't this prettier, my friends? All it takes is a little bit of patience, a straight stitch and a little bit of patience. Something to declare? One question. Yeah, I'm ready. Does this look done to anyone? Well, just stretching it all out of shape. You need a little bit of patience. I'm still working on it. Patience, my friends. Patience. I got another P word. How dare you? How dare you? <gasps> I got a P word for you. Peace out, emphasis on peace, and congratulations for making it to the end of the video. You have the virtue of patience, unlike some people that I know. If you like what you've seen, like and subscribe to follow our upcoming sewing adventures and see how long it takes me to actually finish this shirt. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work on it right now, actually. I'm just gonna go over to the sewing machine. That's what I'm gonna do. Bye. Come here, come here. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He had a crazy eyebrow and a little bit of white fluff. Are you gone? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is this still rolling? Okay.